Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa de Mar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for the latest in local sports. Again, the Wayne County High School baseball game today with Camden County has been canceled due to weather. Again, the makeup date to be announced at a later date. Jack is headed to Atlanta to compete in the Georgia Peach Classic this Friday and Saturday. One game Friday evening, two more Saturday. WFL Finn will have the broadcast of all three games from Atlanta this weekend. JV baseball team in action yesterday against Pierce County. Game all Pierce County 11 zip over Wayne County JV. Middle school baseball, Arthur Williams defeated Ware County 4-2, but Long County Middle School beat Martha Puckett 9-7. Varsity tennis, the girls lost 2-3 to Appling County. Winners for Wayne, number one singles, Katie Moxley, and doubles team, Amara Popkin and Madison White. JV soccer, Camden 5, Wayne County 1. Again, those are the scores from the high school. Scott Cochran's been Alabama's strength and conditioning coach since Nick Saban arrived back in 2007. He's leaving Alabama to take a job at Georgia coaching special teams. Kirby Smart says, ask anyone who's been around him. His passion and energy is contagious, and special teams coordinator is a great fit for him. Saban says that Cochran was looking for a new career path and wanted to be on the field coaching. Saban says one day most likely he'll be a head coach. Cochran and Smart were close friends when Kirby was defense coordinator at Alabama. Now Cochran, a member of the Georgia staff, again, the special teams coach. Spring training baseball Monday, Braves lost to Toronto 4-3. The big story in baseball continues to be the Astros, who admitted cheating in, to win the World Series. Both the GM and manager have been dismissed, but no punishment for the players. But they're hearing it from the fans in spring training. Of course, of boos at every game and signs that display the outrage of the average baseball fan at all Houston Astros games. Second baseman Jose Altuve was hit in yesterday's game in the foot. Manager Dusty Baker, who's taken over the job as manager for the Astros, says it wasn't anything. He just got hit in the foot, and Baker says he didn't see it as intentional. Altuve struck out once in, in the game, and that brought a loud cheer. Fans yelling cheater every time he walked to the plate. Altuve and his teammates implicated in the sign stealing scandal just rocked baseball, and it appears it's going to be a long season for most of the Houston Astros players. Memorial service held Monday at the Staples Center in Los Angeles for Kobe Bryant and his daughter, who died in that helicopter crash. The who's who of NBA stars on hand, and two of them spoke at the service. Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal both spoke on the program. Jordan called Kobe his little brother, said at first he was a nuisance, always calling him and seeking advice how to become a better player, but Jordan says he and Kobe became good friends over the years. Shaq told a funny story about how his teammates were complaining to Shaq that Kobe simply would never pass the ball, so Shaq said he would talk to Kobe, told Kobe that there's no I in team. Kobe's response, but there is an M-E in it. Shaq went back and told his teammates to rebound that Kobe wasn't going to pass the ball. As a look at sports, again, today's high school baseball game has been rained out. A makeup date will be set at a later date. 